Hello, students. I've been looking into the future, and I've been thinking it's time we look at Europe. Today, we're going to tell you about transportation engineering and why you should consider it. A field with no dead ends. Transportation engineering will always be a field that opens many doors for you. So what exactly is transportation engineering? To put it simply, the transportation engineer is the doctor of the road, the shepherd of the street. Transportation engineering is the application of technology and scientific principles to the planning, functional design, and operation and management of facilities for any mode of transportation in order to provide for the safe, efficient, rapid, comfortable, convenient, economical, and environmentally compatible movement of people and goods. In short, transportation engineers avoid this. Forget the lengthy definition, let's go to Kittleson & Associates, a transportation engineering firm, to see what it is that an engineer really does. Hi, my name is Jesse Budar. I'm a transportation analyst at Kittleson & Associates. Today, I'm going to be talking about roadways and roundabouts and how to design them. So as part of being a transportation engineer, what's really exciting what we get to do is actually design new roadways. So in this case, I'm working on a roadway widening project in the city of Vancouver. And first we're given an aerial, and what we're going to do here is actually design a roundabout. It's really easy and pretty fun. Because if you like drawing, you'll like roundabouts and sketching in general. And then what we do here is align the existing roadway with what our eventual roundabout is going to be. So back to this project, we've completed the roundabout. So this is something fun we get to sketch just like you would sketch notebooks if your classes are boring. But in this case, this is a very exciting opportunity because we're designing a new intersection. Here, what you want to do for roundabouts is slow people down. So that's why things swoop in, they, they swoop in, they swoop out. And we're indicating that we need two lanes through uh, in an in one direction. So it's a multi-lane roundabout. It's bigger than other roundabouts. And so that's something really exciting about our job is being able to design conceptually what this intersection is going to look like. Hi, my name is Anais. I am a transportation analyst at Kittleson & Associates. And today I'll be showing you some examples of micro simulation and how it relates to our field. What I'll be showing you is a micro simulation of an existing um, intersection. So this is the existing intersection in Portland at Cornelius and Skyline Boulevard. And what we wanted to simulate is how it would operate as a roundabout, anticipating for future traffic and growth. So here is the same intersection where we've modeled it as a two-lane roundabout or a multi-lane roundabout um, on all approaches except for the north and south, where you see there's one lane. And so through this simulation, we can show the public of how, who are apprehensious about roundabouts and driving through them, of how it would work and that it does function as a roundabout. And now we're looking at the south leg. And so in the simulation, we can assign how many cars go through it, how many trucks, how fast they go. We can really just model a real life roundabout. And what's important to see here is the trucks going through the roundabout. Obviously a truck travels differently than a car. And so to see how they're gonna maneuver and it works just fine. 
So now that you know just how fun transportation engineering can be, the good news is that it's also pretty easy to become one. To become one, you need four years of college. The average transportation engineer makes close to $90,000 a year, which is almost double that of the annual average for the U.S. Here are some possible projects you could work on in the future. The first one is an innovative method of travel called the Hyperloop. He is either a visionary or he's barking mad for what he's come up with. But the core of this is a tube that would be on pillars from Los Angeles to San Francisco and inside there would be capsule cars that would be rocketed forward <clears throat> right, rocketed forward up to 700 miles an hour and that there would be a fan on the front. Um, Elon Musk basically says that this is the way of the future. Another cool idea that's being tested right now is Google's self-driving car. This is Google's self-driving car. The car, which has over $150,000 worth of attached equipment, uses inside cameras to scan the road for stoplights, pedestrians, and other objects. The device on top of the car is a rotating scanning laser, which relays information to the car's computer system. The Google car is not intended to fully replace drivers, but is instead proposed to help them by providing a safe, hands-free experience. This past year, America's infrastructure got a grade of D+. Bridges and railways got grades of C+. Aviation got grades of D. Waterways got grades of D-, and transit and roads got grades of D. 24 nations across the world have better infrastructures than America right now, and that's unacceptable. Picture this for a second. If you came home from school with straight D's on your report card, what would your parents think? Yeah, that's probably unacceptable. That's like the United States, though. Our roadways and our transportation systems are unacceptable, and something needs to be done. There's a great need for young and eager transportation engineers like yourselves if you choose to go this route. We could use all the help we could get in creating an environment where our transportation systems are A's instead of D's. So if you should choose to do transportation engineering as your career, you're not only going to be doing something fun and enjoyable, but you're going to be a part of something greater than yourself. been introduced to this road, how far are you going to go? Are you going to take the first exit, or are you going to travel all the way into your future? Hey, Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going. We don't need roads.